Atlassian's JIRA and Confluence are popular applications used for software engineering. JIRA is an issue tracker and Confluence is an enterprise wiki. In this video, we will demonstrate interoperability between JIRA and Confluence using Zagile's semantic infrastructure and mashup technologies. A key Zagile component to manage interoperability is the semantic form. Zagile's Semantic Forms plugin for Confluence allows you to use wiki-based forms for creating annotated or structured content. Rather than relying on unstructured text, labels, and page hierarchies to organize your content, the annotations based on an underlying meta model provide rich contextual meaning to your page content. These annotations are captured in this Zagile Semantic Repository and connected with other related semantic categories to construct an integrated or composite information map. High-level representations of such categories could be person, document, issue, project, component, requirement, process, milestone, etc. Using this interconnected semantic repository, you can perform searches based on specific categories and annotations. For example, you can search specifically for a requirements document, a use case, a person's contact information, or a check-in associated with a special task. Using SQL-like query languages, for example Sparkle and RDQL, you can also perform ad hoc queries against the semantic repositories from within the wiki, thereby creating dynamic page content. An example of this could be dynamically generating release notes based upon feature summaries tied to a particular project and version. And lastly, applications outside of the wiki can also access annotations for a given category to provide a contextual view of the page content, combining information represented in a page with other contextually relevant data. For example, a bug in JIRA may reference a specific requirement that has been defined in the wiki and a wiki page containing feature and requirements could also display completion status of that feature. Zagile Semantic Infrastructure provides for not only the integration between JIRA and Confluence, but also a foundation for integrating other tools pertinent to the full software engineering lifecycle, such as version control, continuous build monitoring, project management, and even a CRM. In this demo, we will focus on a semantic form for capturing feature description and related requirements in Confluence. Once completed, the feature can be submitted to the development team by instantiating corresponding tasks in JIRA. The interoperability provides cross-linking between the features page as well as its corresponding JIRA tasks. To begin, we select a wiki space in which we want to create a feature page. To create the page, we will select Feature Document, which is a special page type, to initiate the semantic form in Confluence. The selection will result in a feature form being displayed in the wiki. Here you see a partial view of the form. This form consists of a number of sections. On the right, it displays attributes and relationships and possible values defined external to the wiki that are contextually linked to the feature. These include JIRA project name, company project, key stakeholder, feature phase, and QA and development leads. These represent some of the attributes that are associated with this particular feature. In this example, these values are derived from JIRA, although they can be picked up from any other applications, including CRMs. The top left section of the form consists of a number of fields that directly pertain to the document or page. These fields are also captured in the semantic repository and are attributes of the page. In this example, as you will see later in the demo, the feature summary also maps directly to the summary field of corresponding JIRA tasks. The document title and feature summary are the only required fields on this form you can add additional information in the areas below. Other optional sections on this form include Feature Description Title of Feature Release for Publication This attribute can be used to automatically generate release notes Scope and Impact on Customers Competitive Analysis Background Information Research Notes 
post-implementation learnings, etc. Since this form is a hybrid page, you can add additional sections to it below or modify existing sections using Wiki Markup. The Show buttons on the right expand each corresponding section if you want to enter or display its content. In this example, you can see some of the information that we have captured for a feature associated with an account management module. It has been associated or linked to other concepts through drop-down selections on the right. Scrolling to the bottom half of the page, you will see additional sections and attributes that can be defined for this feature. Since a feature may be associated with a number of requirements, or use cases depending upon the structure you use in your organization, an Add button at the bottom right allows you to add requirements associated with this feature on the same page. For each new requirement you want to add, you can click on the Add button, which results in the creation of two edit boxes to capture the summary and description associated with each requirement. At the bottom of the form, you will see the actions that you can perform on this page. Those include Cancel, which will cancel the current edit mode and return you to the space. Save will save the content you have created so far and also create the corresponding feature task and specify subtask in JIRA. These serve as examples to show how requirements definitions can eventually initiate the rest of the workflow in a software development lifecycle. Once a feature definition process begins, it initiates the workflow in JIRA so that you can track its definition as well as the subsequent steps in development and QA. Submit will submit the completed features and requirements to engineering via initiation of corresponding development and QA tasks. The premise of this function is the automation of workflow steps as well as the transition to the next phase of the development cycle. In the bottom section of the form, we can add requirements or use cases, each one delineated and captured in the semantic repository and linked to the feature and its external relationships. As mentioned previously, the Save button at this point will allow you to save the page if you are continuing to build on the feature and requirements content. In this example, the Save operation creates a feature task entry in JIRA along with a specify subtask. You can associate a specific workflow with the definition and development of a feature and this entry will mark the beginning of the process. It will also allow others on the team to track the process from the point the definition was initiated. Saving the feature form will result in the page being rendered in the wiki with its semantic structure intact. As shown above, the wiki markup is used to format the page properly. This look and feel and formatting is template driven so that it can be changed appropriately. Since this is a hybrid wiki page, it has two edit modes. It can be edited in the normal page edit mode for when you want to alter sections which are not semantically captured. It can also be edited in the edit form mode to capture form-based information that is captured in the semantic repository. Typically, all such sections will be grayed out as a way to distinguish between two types of information that is rendered in the form. You can use the edit form link to also add additional requirements associated with the feature. And finally, the submit action on the form will initiate development and QA tasks in JIRA. The form-based page, as it is rendered in the wiki, will now show links to the JIRA feature task corresponding to the feature, the specify subtasks corresponding to the page, as well as multiple JIRA test case subtasks associated with each requirement. Each of these links refers to the corresponding JIRA entry. Here we look at the JIRA entries that correspond to the feature and requirements. In this example, the feature is mapped as the primary task in the specification. Development and test cases are mapped as subtasks. For this feature, 
There is a single development subtask, but multiple test case subtasks corresponding to each requirement. The integration between JIRA and Confluence illustrates the implementation of a lightweight requirements management system. To summarize, requirements may be captured in the wiki, and the requirements definition, feature development, and requirements testing tasks are automatically initiated in JIRA for management of the lifecycle.